Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going back to our, um, you know, first sniffs or whatever, <laughs> um, of the new catalog. And our next, um, category is the woods category. So we're doing a little, you know, sniff sesh of each of the different scents that are in, um, the new catalog. The new catalog launches on the 1st of August and um, I've already been melting some of the new stuff and it's been very exciting. Um, I also have been giving you guys some sneak peeks so I wanted to be true to that. So let me see um, what the next sneak peek is going to be. Um, I wanted to show you guys, um, I did show you some licensed products um, but there is another pretty cool thing that's coming. So I showed you guys last time that the princess um, wall fans are coming out. They are also coming out with Mickey and Minnie wall fans, which I mean, come on, so cute, right? So those wall fan diffusers are really super cute. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited for those. So anyways, so the woods category is full bodied and masculine it includes notes of cedar, sandalwood, pine, and leather. So the first one, is around the campfire which is a very nice gray wax and this one says make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene this one is gorgeous it is definitely woody i get a little bit of a smoky note i, I guess i get a lot of bit of a smoky note but there's almost some vanilla base in there as well I love this. I don't get really like a fresh air scent. It says like mountain air. I don't really get that. My grays are like popping today. <laughs> um, anyway, um, this one is a super great performer. Great mixer. It is a sweet, smoky, woody, beautiful campfire. Um, it's gorgeous. I love that one. Be Mary is next. And my kid, um, was telling me something about this yesterday and I realized that maybe she stuck her finger in it. Um, so B. Mary says, joy abounds in pine boughs, or bows, pine bows, pine boughs dotted with holly leaf and cassis. And this is very piney. It is very green Christmas tree note. I don't know that I, I could pick out what holly leaf smells like, but it basically smells like a little, a little tiny bit fruity, but mostly pine. Um, so I know everybody has like kind of their own um, like tree note that they like. Pine is not mine, but I don't like, I don't hate it. It's just um, not, not my first choice in Christmas tree notes. So that's Be Merry. Um, then there was a new one, Blue Sage and Tonka. Um, and I went over that in the new category and that says, um, Midnight Sage, Black Lavender, and Tonka Bean. Um, another one that's new, um, is Cashmere and Corduroy, which is Vanilla, Sicilian Bergamot, and Cashmere Cedarwood. Sandalwood. So, um, the next one is Cedar Cider. And this one is an autumn medley of the reddest apples, cinnamon sticks, and vanilla beans nestled among fragrant white cedar branches. And I'm not familiar with what white cedar is, honestly. This one smells really good. Um, I've come around to this one. It is it is a sweet tree note, like a sweet Christmas tree note. And I think the apples is what gives it that sweetness. I don't really smell cider and I don't, I guess I do smell cedar. To me, I have um, a cedar chest that was my grandmother's. And, um, it was just like, like a hope chest where she stored things. Um, I never met my grandmother. She died before I was born and my dad's mom, and it was super special to him. And he had it refinished and gave it to me on my 16th birthday. So I have it in my bedroom. And when I open it, it has that like cedar chest note. So it doesn't smell like, like a fresh tree to me. This smells like a cedar chest, like kind of a little bit, um, you know, wet or like, you know, cured wood, if that makes sense. And then like, like a sweet note, that apple note, 
And the apple to me does not smell very authentic -y apple. It's almost like apple flavoring smell smelling. Um, but that one smells good. The next one is iced pine. So again, everybody has like um, a tree that they prefer usually. Um, uh, like whether it's pine or spruce or birch or um, cedar. So this one is iced pine and it says, as refreshing as a walk of new, uh, through new, newly fallen snow, green fir and pine kissed by icy peppermint. And to me, um, I smell more fir in this than I do pine, honestly. Um, and the peppermint doesn't read super pepperminty. So if you're looking for like nose clearing, it's not really like that. It really is like outdoor fresh air and mostly fur in my opinion. Very good, very good. Um, the next one is My Hero and that was from the Father's Day collection last year. It's in our current catalog, it's sticking around and it says cool citrus and white birch ride a current of crisp air. And this is manly. This is very cologne -y. I don't, it says citrus, birch, and crisp air. I don't smell that. This smells like cologne. Like a fresh man out of the shower getting ready for like a night out. To me, it smells like I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of country boys in my family. And when they get dressed up, they wear Wranglers and um, plaid shirts. And depending on the season, either a felt or a straw hat. And this smells like what they smell like to me, like just clean and cologne-y. Um, it's a great performer. Like you really only need one cube. Like it's a super great performer. Um, this is a bestseller mystery man and it's warm white cedar. There we are with the white cedar. Um, green verbena and citrus bergamot and a perfectly spiced sensual fragrance. This is also very cologne -y. And the difference between My Hero and Mystery Man to me is this one smells deeper and more bergamot-y, so more cologne-y, like that you intentionally put on cologne, whereas My Hero smells like clean, like almost body wash-y, and this is more like intentional cologne. Um, this is also a super great performer. I would say two cubes though, um, whereas My Hero for me is a one cube kind of situation, which is unusual. Uh, Red Berry and Spruce. This is the first time in the catalog. It was part of the Brick Collection and it says a merry mix of cranberry and raspberry swirled with a sprig of blue spruce. And this is so unusual. So I got the Brick and it changes so much when you warm it. Like in the beginning, to me, you get a lot of the berry note and that's pretty typical, right? Like berry is first fresh right out of the gate note but it kind of melts off and then you have mostly the tree note. And this is a spruce note. And if I had to pick between pine and spruce, I'd pick spruce. Um, I think pine um, smells more kind of um, lemony, like more towards that tart note. And blue spruce or any kind of spruce to me smells more green. So um, I like this one. It's a good performer, but it if you're, if you're wanting this to be a mixture, to me, I get, I get red berries first and spruce second. On cold, you smell it all together, but when you're melting it, in my opinion, you get the red notes first, the berry notes, and then you get the spruce notes last. Um, it really carries it through. Good. Uh, the next one is also a bestseller, very snowy spruce, and this is Breathe in fresh forest air, balsam spruce, and cedar branches. Embrace the warmth of amber and woody pine cones. So of all of the tree ones, and I'm not a super big tree person, um, smelling person, I do love, love, love. Um, I do love wood scents, but not Christmas tree scents. They, like I've told you before, they smell astringent to me. But if I have to pick one, this would be it because it does have that cedar note. And um, when I was young, we cut down cedar trees, um, mountain cedar trees as our um, Christmas trees. And so this is more nostalgic than um, like my scent preference. But this one is very nice. 
I smell cedar more than I smell spruce. There isn't a fresh air note. Um, and I really like the pine cones oil, but I don't smell it in here. Pine cones to me usually gives it a really good like woody note, like bark note. That doesn't, I don't smell that in here. This is mostly like the greenness. So anyway, and then the last one is weather leather. And this is step into an old fashioned saddle shop brimming with dark suede, tooled leather and vintage saddles over a backdrop of oak. This is leather. This is just leather, like a, like leather shoes, leather belt, leather jacket. There is no cologne note. There's no, there's nothing tamping it down. It's pure leather scent, like total leather. I am surprised that they kept this and got rid of sheer leather because sheer leather to me is more tolerable or beautiful. I love sheer leather. I don't mean like tolerable, but this smells almost plasticky to me. Um, it's, it's pure leather. Um, of course, it's a super great performer. Like you can taste it in the air leather. The minute that you open this, like I can open it over here and I can smell it super strong. Um, my dogs are in here with me now. So those are all of the scents. Um, my top ones would be these. So I'd go with red berries and spruce. Um, I just think that the red berry makes it a little bit different than kind of all of these other tree notes. Um, my hero, great performer, super good smell. Um, after sheer leather, I guess this is my favorite man scent. Sheer leather still takes my favorite. And my favorite is around the campfire. Around the campfire is club scent for me. I only took it out because I saw it's back. Um, but I, I will, this will always be in my club. I love it that much. It is toasted marshmallow with a little bit less marshmallow. Super good, highly recommend. So those are mine. Um, so the next categories that we have are citrus, floral, and then the um, the licensed scents. And since all of those categories are pretty small, I'm gonna put them all together in my next video. It'll be my last one for the series. And then, um, Closer to the launch of the catalog, I'll kind of go page by page and just show you what we got um, so you guys can see what's coming out. Um, I'm really excited for the new catalog. I'm um, melting a lot of the new scents and I've been super impressed. So far I have melted, um, let's see, I've melted Blue Sage and Tonka, um, very good. I've melted Cashmere and Corduroy, bedroom scent, but still very pretty. Eucalyptus Wreath will go in my club. It is balm. Um, and graham cracker crunch, same balm. Um, I am melting right now scarlet sunflower, so I'm reserving my opinion on that. But I mean, right now I'm just, I'm, I'm loving the, the new scents. I think Scentsy is hitting it out of the park with this, um, these new scents, honestly. Um, I, I, um, have done something that I was inspired by Patricia Nose to Toes. Um, she is like one of my faves. And um, last year she did something where she saved what she thought were like the top 12 scents that Scentsy came out with in 2020. And so um, I was like, gosh, that's so like such a good idea. And so I have been saving what I think are top scents um, from 2020, I mean, from 2021, um, so that I can say what I think mine would be. Um, Cause I just think that that's like, that's a really cool idea. Um, and, um, I mean, she inspires me in a million ways. That's fun. Um, and so I, um, I was a little disappointed in the spring releases cause I didn't, you know, I didn't pull out like five new spring releases and say like, these are top 12 cents, but I can see pulling out like, like several, four maybe, or more of the new scents for fall. And that's, that's like pretty good. So anyway, let me know if you guys have melted any of these woods um, category scents. Um, a lot of them are, you know, returning. And so let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, um, put them down below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.